Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today we have another Leonardo DiCaprio film because it is Tuesday. We are getting through quite a lot of them. We will be done with this relatively soon. Uh, the first week of May is when I'm finishing this series. So only got about a month and a half left, which is insane. Then I'll have watched every Leonardo DiCaprio film ever made. That's insane. But today I'm really excited to talk about this one because I've never actually seen it, which is insane because it's such a fantastic movie. Um, everyone's been telling me to watch it and I haven't just, I haven't had time. Now I do. And so I watched it and uh, it's cool. And I'm really excited to talk today about Shutter Island. Shutter Island was released in 2010. It was written by Leda uh, Calagritis and directed by Martin Scorsese. Uh, for those of you who know, Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio have been in a lot of films together. They do a lot of films together. Um, I think there's another one coming out in the relatively near future with both of them, so that'll be interesting. But if you guys are interested in watching this movie, it is on Netflix. So if you guys have Netflix, you can watch it on there. I think it might also be on Hulu, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I watched it today on Netflix. So, this movie's really cool because it freaks with your mind. Uh, spoilers ahead in this movie because there's spoilers ahead in this, in this review. Um, because pfft, you can't talk about this movie without spoiling it. But essentially what happens is Leonardo DiCaprio plays Teddy and Mark Ruffalo plays Chuck. And they go to this island where they are they keep all like the hostile uh, like prison inmates, basically. Like all the worst ones. And what happens, right, is they're trying to figure out who this Rachel girl is. They're going to find Rachel, figure out what's happening. They're FBI agents, basically. They're, they're not. They're cops. But they seem like they're FBI agents. Um, and while doing all this stuff, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio's character discovers a lot of really weird things about his own sanity. He's like, ah, oh, maybe I'm going crazy. I don't really feel very good. I'm shaking a lot. It's really weird. Um, and essentially what happens is we learn, uh, like, at the end of the movie, that Leonardo DiCaprio's Teddy is not Teddy. He's actually Latus, who is the person he's trying to kill. Because Latus killed his wife, which is true. Latus did kill his wife. But he killed his wife. So Leonardo DiCaprio is actually Latus. Okay, and Latus. Okay, so Leonardo DiCaprio killed his wife because his wife killed his children by drowning them because his wife was insane, which then drove him insane. I know you're wondering, but who's Chuck then? Chuck is a doctor, and he's a psychiatrist, and he takes care of Latus. Um. Freaked me out. I had no idea what was happening. It blew my freaking mind. It was so cool. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the whole twisty twist happening at the end. It was really, really cool. Um, if, if, if Just trust me, watch it and watch that part. Insane. Insane, insane. It's so cool. I think that the directing of this movie was really, really fun. We had a lot of really cool moments uh, of darkness in the film. The use of light in this film was really, really cool. And the use of color as well, because it's very dull on the island. You don't see a lot of color. But then when we get visions of his wife, we get yellow. She wears yellow. So it's really cool that we get this, like, cool, like, transition, basically, of, like, all these different darky and kind of murky colors. We get yellow there. And it's really, really cool that they, they decided to do that. I think the writing was spectacular for this film. Super cool. I want to watch the. I want to watch. I want to read the book that uh, this is based on. I don't know if I'm going to, but I want to. Uh, but we shall see. Let's go ahead and talk about the acting today. First, we have Leonardo DiCaprio as Teddy slash Latus. So first, he plays Teddy, and Teddy seems pretty cool. He seems like a badass cop. You know, he's like, I'm gonna go figure out what the school is going on here. And then, you know, as we progress, first of all, there's a lot of really cool directing things here that like make you know that something's up like when somebody went to drink for water and then she drinks from a clear glass because latest doesn't like water uh because his daughter was his daughters and i think son were killed uh by being drowned um so like a, a bunch of subtle hits hints in the beginning of the film that like i didn't even catch it i i caught that she wasn't drinking water like there was no glass um but i didn't know what it was about and now i do and it's insane it's such a cool idea um, I really, really, really liked Leonardo DiCaprio here. Uh, I think he was spectacular. Spectacular. Um, this might be one of his better movies um, that's ever existed. I don't necessarily think that it was necessarily his best performance, but I do think that it's one of his better movies. 
Um, I was super excited to see him in this. Next week we're watching Inception with him, and I'm really excited to watch that one as well because I've heard it's it's even better than Shutter Island, uh, which is also on Netflix. So both of those are on Netflix. I'm really really excited to watch them. Uh, it should be it should be a really cool week. I'm really excited to watch that. Leonardo DiCaprio has gotten really cool recently in in, his, in, in the cycle that I'm watching because he's grown up and he's he went through the action phase I think, and now we're on to like the cool like adult awesome. Leonardo DiCaprio films um, so I'm really excited to see that uh, but we shall see soon next we have Mark Ruffalo as Chuck or the psychiatrist depending on what part of the movie you're watching it. <clears throat> so Chuck's a cool character because he's kind of quiet and he's helping out um, Teddy but then we learn that they're not actually helping each other because he's just a doctor and they're role playing basically which is a really cool idea I didn't think they were going to do that I had no idea what was going on there until the very end I think that Mark Ruffalo is actually a pretty good choice for this. I do think that there's one actor that I think would do even better, and I think that Robert Downey Jr. might have been a better part for this. Um, I think that he would have done a really, really cool job. Not that I think that Mark Ruffalo is bad. He wasn't, like, fantastic, um, but he's not supposed to be. He's supposed to be a very background character. We're not supposed to notice that something's up with him. So it was really cool that we got that, and I think he was really, 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 really cool. I've seen a lot of Mark Ruffalo movies. Maybe I'll do a Mark Ruffalo series at some point. Um, I've heard he was really good when he was younger. I haven't seen any of his younger movies. Um, but this one was definitely really cool. I enjoyed watching him, and then even progress as the psychiatrist doctor. It was even different. Like I didn't think there was much of a difference there, but then it was like completely different. I was like, "Whoa, cool! Um, really, really cool." I liked that he was there. Um, I liked the character, and it was really, really fun. Ben Kingsley as Doctor Cowley. Uh, ben Kingsley is a really fantastic actor. I think he was really good for the part, but maybe not necessarily like the best. Um, I, he plays a lot of the same characters, so it's really annoying. Um, I like it when he plays these, like, cool, sinister characters. Um, it works really well for him. He just, he looks good for the part. He works really well for it. Um, and I really enjoyed watching this, uh, in particular because he was able to, to be menacing, but also, like, he kind of liked him. Like, in the, in the Leonardo Capri's like, something's wrong with him. And you're like, yeah, probably, but, like, what is it? And it was really cool because nothing was technically wrong with him. Uh, it was really, really cool. I enjoyed watching watching him here. Uh, I, I almost wish he had a little bit more screen time in the beginning so that we got... We knew something, something was up, but we didn't really know what. Overall, this movie is really, really cool. The twist at the end is really, really solid. Watching from the beginning to the end just like was really, really solid for me. I really liked the ramping of this movie. I liked how we thought it was one kind of movie and then turned into a different kind of movie. It was really, really cool. I, I recommend this to anyone who likes thrillers and who likes horror films even a little bit and who likes mystery films for sure because you're going to like this a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and give this movie an A+. This movie's really solid. I had a lot of fun watching it. Uh, make sure you guys go check it out. It is on Netflix, so if you have Netflix, not a huge deal. Uh, coming up soon, first of all, if you haven't voted in the poll, make sure you do so soon because that will have to stop soon. I'm assuming by the time the end of this week happens, I will need to write down what I'm doing in April. So make sure you guys go vote in that poll. It's on Facebook. The link is in the description below. So if you guys want to go check that out, make sure you do. Coming out this week, Thor Ragnarok on Wednesday. Really fun movie, really cool review. And Thursday, just Pickle Me 3. Haven't actually seen it yet. Really excited to watch it. Um, I think it's, it's going to be better than Minions. Everything's better than Minions. And then on Friday, we have Uncle Drew, which is a request by chance. So if you guys want something requested, drop it down in the comments down below. I have a running list now um, on Google Docs that I've been keeping updated. Um, and I'm just going to keep adding them to Fridays, so it's really exciting. Uh, and also, make sure you go follow TikTok at Robert's Reviews. Uh, it is something that I've been doing recently, and people like it, so I figured I'd do it anyway. Um, and you can also type in down there or send me a message if you want to request something. So make sure you guys are considering doing that. Coming out Friday is Cherry, uh, which has been out for a couple weeks now, but I haven't been able to see it because I don't have a theater. Um, but it will be on iMovie, uh, iTV, so I will be watching that, uh, theoretically speaking, on Friday. But I think it's going to do it for me today. Uh, I don't have much else in terms of uh, in terms of announcements. I am doing a lot more like coming out movies, so once the movie theater opens back up, I'll be doing a lot more. On Fridays, make sure you guys are expecting that. Also, let's see, what day is it here? It's the 9th. So this week... Theoretically speaking, if all things are going well. <laughs> um, also, the Marvel's Assembled show comes out, which is basically a behind-the-scenes show. I will not be doing a review on it because it's basically a documentary type thing. I'm not going to review documentaries. Um, and it's basically a behind-the-scenes documentary. Or for, that's what I'm understanding it is. Um, so I won't be doing a review on that. However, the following week, 
Falcon and the Soldier comes out, and I will be starting my weekly reviews on those, so make sure you guys are looking into that. I'm really excited for that. starts on the 19th. Uh, and the Snyder Cut on Thursday, the 18th. So look out for that as well. That's going to do it for me today. As always, keep watching movies and television, stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.